Hello everyone, this is Johnny Crass coming to you with my December hobby update. Uh, I figure I'm going to make this a regular thing, one for every month. So might as well just get into it. So first off, what I have been painting is this Arachnorok for um, just a school project college project I've been doing. Uh, we were told to do a project to go in and present to the class so this is what I decided to do. Something a little different. Not a canvas painting or anything. But an Arachnorok just to get it out of the way because I wanted to paint it. I don't play Orcs and Goblins but the Arachnorok is actually one of my favorite models that GW has put out in a long long time. So I thought I'd give it a paint up and yep then I've been working also on uh, getting the wood elves there they're gonna be my painting project this month and next month so just getting them done getting them ready for the table now I did have a question for all of you out there what color my wood elves are gonna be gray and green so what color do you think the dragon should be? Because I'm having a really hard time just not painting it like a fell beast. Because, of course, that's what the model is, is a fell beast. And then my sprites are going to be blues. But if you have any ideas for how to paint the fell beast, please just leave it in the comments because I'm getting a little bit desperate. Uh, then... Working on a tree man. My tree man, all my four spirits are just going to be like grays built up to whites with kind of green highlights and then blue sprites. So just the first of a few tree people. And yeah. Then just doing some basing. That's not a very good one. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Uh, here's a bit better look at the bases. Just kind of green with some green earth around it. The lighting's really bad today because we're having a bit of a storm. And yeah. Then I retouched up Phil. Now Phil is he's been in my collection for a very long time the Warhammer Giant is kind of one of the models that really cemented me into Warhammer and just got me into the game and Phil here happens to be the sixth giant model I've owned since I've played I've had one from Ultra Forge and then um, GW's Albion Giants their old metal giant, and then two of these guys, two of the new plastic ones. So Phil's going to get a rebase and a little bit of a repaint because this free hand's awful. So I'm going to fix that. I have no clue what that free hand was supposed to be, but that's definitely going to be fixed. And of course, the almighty giant thong. Um, yep. And then... For sculpting and building, I took someone's advice where they said use the Island of Blood Griffins as your eagles. So I picked up a few of these for dirt cheap and I'm just re cut off the saddle and I'm re sculpting them with the feathers and then they'll be ready to rock and roll. Now, one thing is I'm going to be basing both my high elves and my wood elves exactly the same so that I can swap the eagles over and swap a couple other pieces over if I'm feeling like it so a bit of a cheap thing to do but if it saves me money I'm happy well, funny thing coming from a Warhammer player saving money we don't have a concept like that all right and then I picked up a couple tray buckets trebuchets um from this just off-brand site it was recommended me recommended to me by a guy called on the forum 
vampire counts farms called Snar- Schnarchnik the Lord. And while they're really cheap, and they're a pretty good model once you get them built, they were an absolute nightmare to put together. Just pieces didn't fit right. Holes weren't all the way drilled out. Just an absolute nightmare. And on top of that, the shipping was god-awful slow. It just took forever. And I don't know. I paid enough for shipping that I think it should have taken a little bit less. But maybe that's just me complaining. So these are going for my um, Bretonian army, of course. I would send them to Vanus Creations because I love Vanus Creations and they're fantastic and all my shows are brought to you by them. But, as you can see, they are an incredibly spindly and fragile model and I don't really feel like putting them in the mail just to have them painted and then, like, USPS breaking one along the way, and then me just having to fix it. So I'm just going to paint it myself. I bought um, some basing stuff that matches the basing stuff for my Bretonians, so they'll get all based up, and I can paint a tre trebuchet fine. No big deal. So that should be... That should turn out, at least, and then... My Bretonian army will be fully painted and probably sit on a shelf for a little while because I am in a bit of a slump with Bretonia at the moment, but that's for another video. So, that is pretty much the hobby update. Oh, wait, there's one more thing. Walk over here. Keep on walking. Uh, so, I... Worked on another one of my Chaos Dwarves. Uh, it's slow and sure. But they're getting done. Which is all I care about. I've got about half the unit of Infernal Guard sculpted and painted. The other half is mostly sculpted. Then I've got my Fire Glaives all sculpted up. Um, and then i got my Iron Demon painted, which you've seen before. I've got my Kadai Destroyer being painted he's a really big model and I just haven't had the motivation to finish him and then I have my Kadai Fireborn which are some Crix Warjacks they're primed and I'm not once again they're like my destroyer where I'm not really feeling like painting a big metal model so there's that but once all those are paint it up, which shouldn't take me that long if I get myself in gear. My Chaos Dwarfs will be all finished up and ready for a couple games, which I'm excited about because I love playing my Chaos Dwarfs. They're an amazing army book. Sorry, Tom Richards, but they are. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. So if you have any comments about the dragon, please leave them below. If you have any comments about the video... Uh, please leave them below. I was a little bit scattered on this video, but I still wanted to get it up before it was halfway through December, and then I post a hobby update. So I just decided get it up, get it out of the way. Once again, please check out Vanus Creations. There will be a link in the show notes. And thank you once again, Johnny Crass, and I'll see you guys later.